Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video, and today we have one of my friend uh, Sneha with us. So she'll be giving a complete talk regarding uh, continental internship program. And uh, before jumping to main talk, guys, uh, let us Sneha to give a small introduction about herself, and later we'll uh, jump to our main talk. Uh, hi Sneha, welcome to the channel. Firstly, hi Akshay, thank you, thank you so much. So, so myself yeah. Sneha. I'm uh, currently working as an intern at Continental Automotive uh, Components Private Limited. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically from Bangalore. So I'm also currently pursuing my MTech from Dhanan Sagar University. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yes, now coming to our main talk. So how you came to know about this internship and what was the procedure you got into the internship? Just give a small, you know, uh, brief talk regarding that to our audience. What you? Yeah, 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 sure. So in the month of March, I got a mail from a placement department like uh, there is an internship opportunity from Continental. Mm -hmm. So then we applied for that. Then mm -hmm. in the month of June, I got a written mail from them like uh, updated resume. You can send me the updated resume mm -hmm. for the, from the HR department of Continental. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, after two days of that, I got a technical interview link uh, from uh, same Continental. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after attending technical interview, after two days, uh, after the two days of that interview, I got like you have selected for the internship opportunity okay. at mm -hmm. Continental okay yeah this is the process actually okay so the thing is you got from your uh, college tpo correct yes 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 so coming to the program there was no assessment directly you got a technical round link and nothing yeah. else yeah only one round of technical interview sure so looking into the insight of uh, technical rounds now like how was uh your experience basically just give a talk on that what you so the technical interview person was a very cool person and it started with like uh, tell me about yourself mm -hmm. and after that uh, he, he asked me like what are the project you are doing and currently projects mm -hmm. so and even he asked like what you are interested on which language you are interested on and mm -hmm. I told like C++ and Python mm -hmm. uh, where I'm work currently working my projects and on uh, Python only mm -hmm. okay. so then he started asking me a questions on C++ the questions were basically on the pillars of uh, oops like mm -hmm. okay. abstraction encapsulation mm -hmm. inheritance mm -hmm. so the questions were basically on this and mm -hmm. uh, it told me to explain it and give some examples okay. in the form mm -hmm. of coding mm -hmm. and even with normal examples also it told okay. me to explain okay so this is about the c plus plus and oops concepts and mm -hmm. uh, uh coming on to the python mm -hmm. it told me to write some two programs there so the one program is on uh, palindrome, palindrome okay. of mm -hmm. the string, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. another program is simple like even and odd mm -hmm. okay. uh, to write a code on even and odd numbers in the okay. Python. All right. So yeah, this is about the interview process. Uh, Sneha, like uh, how was uh, the interview actually? You know, they said to write on a paper or notepad. Or you are using their own platform. Like how was it? Share the screen and coding. Uh, in front of how was it? Yeah, yeah. Share the screen and coding in front of him. Uh, like online platform, he told me to use okay. Notepad mm -hmm. or even an online platform if you want. I I wrote in uh, Notepad only. Okay, so coming to the Python, they ask us some technical stuff regarding the OOPs and uh, some basic question and uh, two coding question. And uh, mm -hmm. any talk regarding uh, like uh, DBMS kind of questions, uh, queries, any such kind of questions? Yeah. No, no, no. It's only on Python and OOPs concepts. Actually, uh, I was working on that only. Mm -hmm. So he asked okay. me on that only. All right. So any talk on project, uh, Sneha? Like, was there any question related to the project? Uh, yeah, he asked me explain that uh, what are the current projects you are working in the campus. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I explained what I'm, I was doing. Okay. So uh, the project is also on Python. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Python. Chalo. So any situation-based question uh, did you face? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Only this many. That's it. So how long it went? Any idea? How long was the... Uh, just an half an hour. It's just an half an hour. So, so this was all about uh, the technical round. Yes. So, you know, as you mentioned that you came to know about this internship from your TPO. Uh, uh, you know, uh, were they given any uh, test to individual student in your college from the TPO? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we got a mail. No? In that only they have mentioned like uh, what are the percentage criteria they Achha, need uh, for criteria. the mm -hmm. selection of that. So okay. they have mentioned like uh, more than 60% in overall CGPA should be there. Okay. So, yeah. That was Based the on that, they shortlisted the uh, things for the technical thing. Yeah. Just wanted to know, Sneha, like criteria in the sense like 60% in 10th, 12th and also in the degree, correct? Uh, all the format. All the format. So, 60 is the common in all 10th, 12th and degree. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, no current active backlogs. Uh, yes. 
Chalo, so that was the criteria. So this was all about technical round. Yes. So after that, no HR, nothing. Uh, there is no HR. I got a mail after two days of technical round that mm. I have shortlisted. I mean, okay. I have selected for mm. it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did they mention any uh, the profile for which uh, the internship is given? Anything like that? The profile? Uh, actually, we got a mail like uh, like C++, these many students we want. Uh, mm -hmm. Oops concept, this many. Uh, okay. For uh, working under this mm -hmm. uh, DBMS, these many students we want. Uh, yeah, okay. I got we got a mail. Mm -hmm. In that only, we, they have mentioned this. So what was the platform? Is it on Google Teams or is it Zoom? So what was the platform they were using? For technical uh, Google Meet link. Google, Google Meet, Meet link. link. Yes. So as you mentioned, within 48 hours, you got uh, the selected mail. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. For the people who didn't select it, uh, did they receive any rejection mail in such kind of thing? Uh, no, 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 no. no. So, Nothing like that. So I guess so we are done with the uh, technical round. So we'll look into its job description uh, regarding the internship. Okay. So what was uh, the stipend uh, offer from the company? And any talk on that? So the stipend will be around uh, three thirty thousand. Okay. So uh, yeah, the stipend is thirty thousand. If it is converted, then it will be around uh, seven lakh of package. Seven LP, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the time period? It's a talk on that. Uh, it's like nine hours. You can go whatever the time you want, but okay. it should be completed with nine hours. For okay. interns, there is a compulsory to go to the company and work. Okay. Uh, there is no work from home offer. All right, completely work from office. And uh, the working hour is nine hours, as you mentioned. Yes, yes. And uh, coming to the total time period of internship, like how long it will be? Like, is it like three months or six months? Like, how long it is? So actually, it depends on the team. So mm -hmm. I got a like I got selected. No, then I got a mail like uh, September. Uh, they asked me like uh, when I am available for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned in September. So okay. for me, it's September fifteenth to May fifteenth. Nine right. months of interview. Nine months of interview. Actually, it depends on the team how team. the project okay. will be, how they are working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chalo then. So based upon the project, uh, the internship time period will vary. Correct. Yes. Yes. Chalo then. So as you mentioned, it's being an internship. Uh, I guess like based upon individual performance, uh, they'll be converting into a full-time job. So this is the procedure, yes, uh, correct? Yes. yes. So will be there any assessment, uh, Sneha, uh, during the period of internship? Uh, uh, yes, uh, they will be giving some tasks. Like we will be working for support of them. Mm -hmm. So they will be giving some tasks. We need to do that task, mm -hmm. that okay. thing. Okay. So actually, after uh, your internship is completed, again you will be having some round of interview, yeah. yep, yep. like managerial round, that mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So then after that, they will be converted. So it totally depends upon your performance. Performance will yes. be the eligibility. All right. Yes. Hello. So I guess we have covered everything. So from my end, I have asked everything. So would you like to mention anything? Any suggestion to our audience, like uh, how they can prepare for this? Anything like that? Your suggestion. Uh, like uh, I prefer Continental because it is one of the multinational mm. company and even a product based company. Yep. So I think if you get an opportunity to work in Continental, even there is some uh, website of Continental, mm -hmm. some job opportunities are there mm -hmm. for uh, even for the like experienced mm -hmm. uh, persons they have mm -hmm. left for a job offer. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do in Continental, I, I will always prefer Continental. <laughs> Hello then. So adding to Sneha's point, guys, as she was mentioning regarding the website, I will be providing the link of website and related links in the description. If you want to, you know, do an internship or you want to dig regarding the company thing, just go and have a look into that. And uh, Sneha, really appreciate you for taking time and joining us and, you know, uh, talking uh, your experience regarding the internship. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Akshay. And yeah, guys, so this is all about this talk. And guys, if you're not a subscribed to the channel, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And guys, we also have a Telegram community group. A link is given in the description. And Sneha, once again, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And yeah, guys, this is all about this talk. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.